hello everyone in this session we will learn about variables and data types well when we write any computer programs we need to store lot of data we store this data in variables variables are nothing but the names given to the computer memory location which are used to store values in the computer program please don't worry about this variable definition now you will have a clear understanding soon this variable stores data like name numbers etc the name is string the number could be an integer or a decimal like this python has many built in data types and they are categorized like this we have text type which includes string and str is the keyword for the string then we have numeric types it includes int float and complex numbers then we have a sequence type list tuple and range this is the complete list of default types don't worry we are going to learn all of them one by one but there is very interesting thing in python you don't have to worry about data types because python has the ability to decide the type of data as it receives let's see this with an example suppose you want to store a value of 250 in python for this we will write x equal to 250 like this first print statement and inside print we will write x to print the value of x like this please make a note over here when we use print statement earlier we enclose hello in the double quotes but here quotes are not required because we are printing the value of the variable when we want to display text as it is we will use double quotes or single quotes but when we display value inside the variable quotes are not required now to check the data type of x we will write a print statement and inside print we will write type and in bracket x like this let's run the code here we got the output first is the value and next is the type you see type is int or here because 250 is an integer python understood the data type and gave the output in other programming languages we first specify the data type and then you can use the variable but python handles it automatically now let's try with decimal here we will write y equal to 2.9 like this now again print y using the print statement like this and now we will print the type using type inside print like this let's run the program well you got the output as a class float let's again try with the string data type we will write x equal to python programming again here we have text enclosed in the double quotes because string data in any computer language is enclosed in the double quotes or single quotes here is our code to print the variable and then the data type let's run the program our output shows data type as class str that is string here we draw the conclusion that python can decide the data type on its own and the software programmer has to focus on the logic we will learn more about variables and data types in the next session thanks for watching it